In most of the video games, you have seen that when you press the fire button, the bullet travels in the real world and takes a time for its traveling and kill the enemy. So in this tutorial, we will be doing the same. So here I have a basic FPS controller which I have downloaded from the internet. So if you look into the script, you can see I have 5 actions, move forward, backward, left, right and jump. And the same I have set in my project, project settings and input map. So you can see here I have my 5 actions with the respected key assigned to it. Next I have one more action called fire with the left mouse button assigned to it. So to make the action keys just type here anything which you want but in my case I have move forward, backward, left and right. I have created an action called move demo and this is for the just demo purpose and if you want to assign a key just select the plus and select if you want to select the keyboard or the mouse button so I'm just selecting the mouse button and you can see you can add left button right button etc so I'll just delete this one so the input map is case sensitive so your this matching should be exactly the same for this and the respective key assigned so next here I have a main scene with a mess instance and a collision shape to it. So that's it for the starter pack. Next we will create a bullet scene. So in my case I have downloaded the FBX model from the internet and pasted in my root directory. So this is my bullet scene. You can see I have a main node of special type called bullet and I have a mess instance attached to it. So next we will create a collision shape for our bullet. To create the collision shape select the mesh go to mesh property here select create single convex sibling so once you create the collision shape it gives us a warning to solve the warning or the issue just select the bullet node and right click go to change type and rename it to rigid body or change it to rigid body once you are done your warning will go away next we will add the area node to our bullet to detect the collisions or to give damage or to affect the environment with the bullet impacts. So select the bullet node, add a area node as a child of bullet. The area node gives us a little issue. To solve this, select a collision shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now select the collision shape 2 and just drag under the area node. Now our bullet UI part has finished. So save your scene by pressing Ctrl S. Once your scene has been saved, we will attach a script to our bullet node. So select the bullet, click on the script icon, select no comments, click on create. So in our script we will create two constants. The first one is the damage and the second one is the speed. Next under the ready function write set as top level and make it true. This means that the bullet cannot be controlled by our player once it has been shot. Next create a function called shoot and assign the parameter delta to it. Under the shoot function write apply impulse and in go dot apply impulse means just to apply the force on the rigid body. In other ways, rigid body moves by applying impulse on them. And in our case, we are applying impulse on the back side of the bullet and we want the bullet to move on the minus C axis with the time of speed. Next, select the area node, click on the node under the body entered signal, right click on it, click on connect, again click on connect. So when the bullet enters any area or collides with something, in our case we have named the collided object as body so if the body is in group enemy which means if the collided body is in group enemy then we will decrease the body health parameter by our damage amount so after making the damage we will delete our bullet by q3 else if the bullet has collided with any object and the object is not in group called enemy then we will save our bullet to delete itself without making any action or effect so here our bullet script ends. So once you are complete with the script, press Ctrl S to save the script. Again go to the 3D scene, select the area node, click on the inspector and under the collisions, click on the three dots and check the layer 1. Do the same thing for the bullet. Once you have unchecked the layer 1 collision, select the mass and change it to 0 0.1 or lower than 0.1 in this case I am setting it to 0.1 this is just the mass of the bullet and one more thing make sure that the bullet is aligned on the z axis in this case it's on the z axis so I will change it to minus z 
by pressing control and left click and drag so our bullet scene has been completed i will save the scene again so before starting the gun scene we will just change few settings in the main scene so select the main scene click on this icon search for player and click on open you can see our player has been spawned in our main scene next select the player right click on it and under the editable children click on this which will just provide the reference of all the player scene nodes in our main scene in other words it just provide the reference of the all the nodes in our player scene next select the head node add a special node to it rename it to handgun next select the camera add a recast node rename it to camcast which is short form for camera cast next under the inspector of camcast click on enable and change the y as 0 and change the z as minus 100 or a larger number the larger number should be a negative value next we will start with our gun scene in my case i have downloaded the model from the internet so i have opened my fbx model and in this model i have a special node named as m4a2 which is the name of the gun and i have a message sense attached to it next select the main node as a special node as a child of it rename it to muzzle next proper it position so it's just in front of the gun tip in my case it's here next we will save our scene so go to scene save scene as and click on gun.tscn and save scene next we will attach a script to our gun so select the main node click on the script icon select no comments click on create before writing the script we will attach our gun to our player hand so in the main scene select the handgun node click on this icon search for gun again click on open you can see our gun model is too big to scale it down go under the transform section and under the scale change the value as you wish you wish but in my case i am changing it to 0.6 next we will properly position our gun so select the handgun node and drag and so it's in the minus z axis select the camera node click on preview again select the handgun node under the transform section change the translation until it's in a good position and change the rotation degree if you want to rotate the gun i have set to this position which i feel it's in a good position so next we will attach a script to our gun scene so again select the script icon at the beginning we will create the reference for our muzzle and the second one is the camcast but if you notice that the camcast is not in this scene so to reference the node which is not in our present scene we will use dollar in the double quotation and inside the double quotation we will provide path to our camcast so to get the path once if you select the main scene you can see our present script is here and our camcast node is here so first we will reference its parents node again we will reference that parent node next we will go under the camera and again for the camcast so to reference the parent node we use double dot and forward slash so in our case we are referencing the twice parent node you can see the first one is this and second one is the head node and further again we are referencing the camera and the camcast so next we will provide the reference for our bullet scene and we will load our bullet scene once the game has start so to get the bullet path in the file system search for your bullet scene in my case i have set it to bullet.tscn or i have saved it to bullet.tscn if you select the bullet dot tscn here it provides the path to it so i will just select all Control c to copy it and again i will paste here so you may notice that the bullet path should be under the quotation mark or else it's not gonna work to load our bullet scene next under the physics process function we will say if the fire button is pressed then if our cam cache is colliding then we will instance our bullet scene by saying our bullet equals to bull dot instance instancing a scene just makes a copy of the main scene in our present scene in other case we are just making the copy of the bullet scene in our main scene so next we will spawn our bullet at the muscle point so we are saying muscle dot add child bullet which just adds the bullet as a child of muscle next we will transform our bullet so it's facing the proper direction so in our case we are just saying bullet dot look at where our camcast is colliding and we are just rotating it or orienting it to the proper direction 
once it's in the proper direction we will say it to shoot by just calling the shoot function which we have created in our bullet script so next we will save our scene or our script by pressing ctrl s and now if you run the scene if you press the fire button you can see our bullets are coming but you may notice two things the first one is the bullet comes continuously without any delay which doesn't seem real and one more thing if you shoot at the sky the bullet doesn't come just because the recast is not colliding in the sky so to fix these two issues go to our gun script create a variable called can fire and set it to false sorry you should set it as true next if the fire button is pressed and our can fire is true then we will say to run this line of code so once each bullet has been shot we will set the can fire as false so once the can fire is set to false next we will create a timer which will control the firing rate of our gun and each gun has its own firing rate firing rate just means that number of bullets a single gun can fire in one minute so to create the timer we will say yield get free dot create timer sorry for this thing and the time wait we will pass it as 0.25 seconds which means that after 0.25 seconds our next code will run which is just we will set our can fire as true so this is our firing rate speed of our gun so if you run the scene now so next to fix the firing at the sky we will select our main scene and in the 3d uncheck the camera preview select the main node add a collision shape to it in the inspector of the collision shape select this uh, shape as new box shape under the transform section scale it as 80 under the xyz axis so once you have scaled your main scene will look like this so to test our gun i have created an enemy scene which is the just as a kinematic body as the main node and a mesh instance with the collision shape to it if you look in the script of the enemy we have a variable called health and it's set to 100 under the physics or the process data function if health goes below zero then the enemy will just be deleted from the main scene if you again select the enemy and under the node properties go to groups i have added an enemy to the group called enemy or i have just added this red guy to a group called enemy so if you want to add more you can just name it as you like and click on this add next if you look in the bullet clip you can see that if the body is in group enemy so this case should be exactly matching as this one and in the bullet scene next you will say that body dot health minus equals our damage amount so this parameter is same as this parameter so next our health will be decreased so if you're in the scene now i have created the enemy and instanced it to the main scene so if you press the fire button you can see our bullet comes in the interval of time and it just kills our enemy and if you fire at this guy the bullet still comes one more thing which i have to say is if your collision shape is at last like this just make sure that it's at the beginning of your main scene or the main root node or else you will get some of the glitches so that's it for the tutorial and if you have a pistol other than this AR just go to a scene and under the input is action pressed just make it as is action just pressed so if you run the scene now if you press the fire button you can see each bullet comes in the each fire button pressed and if you still hold the fire button a single bullet shot so that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching my tutorial if you have any questions you can comment me below do like the tutorial do subscribe press the bell icon for the further notification updates and always have a great day